Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shulan and for today I am very excited to share with you all my very own two easy recipes that I've just recently invented. So uh, the first one is a spicy beef tapa and broccoli and the second one is a pasta dish which I call tuna zucchini pasta. They're just very easy and quick to do. You can also easily find the ingredients that we will be using for this. For the beef tapa broccoli, I've used the ready-to-cook beef tapa from Pure Foods. I'll show you everything, all the ingredients that you will be needing for this. And for the pasta, we'll be using, of course, the tuna in can. So, I tell you, this is very quick and easy to prepare. By the way, if you are not subscribed yet to my channel, guys, please do so by clicking the link down below. And don't forget to hit on the notification bell so you can be updated on when I post a new one. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Now, without further ado, let's start cooking. Okay, to start cooking, just add a bit of oil, any kind of oil will do. Then, once it's hot enough, add in your onions. After a minute, you can add in your ginger. After a minute, you can add in now your garlic. Followed by beef. This is their, our beef tapa from Pure Foods, not sponsored. I've only used this because this is much cheaper than the ones I normally buy. I would suggest you add in your chili now. Mas maganda na maaga nyong mailagay yung chili para umanghang agad yung ating tapa. Now, if you do not want it maanghang, then you can opt for the chili. This recipe, by the way, is good for 2 to 3 persons. So, nasa sa inyo na yun. <laughs> you can use 2 packs of the beef tapa if you want. But if you're on a budget like me, then just use the one pack. That's 220 grams, by the way, the beef tapa that we have used. I guess we can try now to cut the beef on the size that you want or prefer. Just be careful kasi I do not have sick siya. In this way pate, mas madaling kainin yung beef. Sometimes kasi di ba parang yung gummy <laughs> gummy yung beef pag hindi masyado nga you can actually use a tongue as well para mas madali nyo siyang maka 
that's enough size for me. You can continue stirring them. This is just a very easy recipe that you can do at home. For me, stir fry is the easiest way to cook anything. Okay, now you can add in your broccoli. Stir them for about a minute. I see a long strip of beef. Let's try to cut it. I need to cut. Then you may add in also your bell pepper. At this stage, pwede nyo na siyang timplahan. Pour in your salt and pepper. And your soy sauce. You may ask kung bakit ko nilagyan ng soy sauce, eh, timplado naman na yung ating beef tapa. Well, pampadagdag lang yung soy sauce kasi meron tayong gulay. Lalo na kung halimbawa matapang yung panglasa niya tulad nung sa akin. Nananap <laughs> You may add in about 1 tablespoon of water. Turn down the heat a little bit and just let it simmer for about 5 minutes. Okay guys, our beef tapa broccoli is ready to serve. Let me turn off your stove now. And just let it sit there for another 5 minutes. Then you can put it on a serving dish. So here it is guys, our beef tapa with broccoli. So we'll boil up some water first for the pasta, about 1 liter. For the pasta water, I use a bit of salt. I don't use oil, just the salt will do. This will also add some saltiness to our pasta. While we wait for our pasta water to boil, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. We have the option to use the whole onion or just half of it. But for this, I would like to use the whole onion. Just slice this into smaller pieces or diced it, whatever you call it, chopped it. I just always get there when slicing onions. So. <laughs> I like 
to use a lot of garlic as much as possible in pasta dishes because they're really good. Sorry for the noise but I need the, <laughs> the electric fan. I turn on the electric fan because it's so hot here. With tomatoes, I usually remove the seeds. We don't need the seeds for this. For this one, you just need to peel this off. Sliced it in half only. Okay, I think our pasta water is already boiling. Let's put our pasta first. Okay, so what I do with the pasta is I cut them in half. Because we only have a shallow pot, so you need to cut them in half. And just make sure to continue stirring them so they will not stick together. Just wait for it to boil while continuously stirring them. Okay, all the veggies are ready. Now let's just wait for the pasta to cook and then let's start cooking the sauce okay so the pasta is already cooked now let's make the sauce for this you will need about one tablespoon of olive oil first okay so i think it's hot enough now let's start cooking the onion You may add in the garlic. Now this time, add one more tablespoon of olive oil. Put in the tuna. You may remove the laurel. You don't need that one. Once that boils up, you may add in the zucchini. See? Very easy. It boils up right away. Now let's put in our zucchini. And lastly, our tomatoes. Just keep on stirring. Then add in your salt and pepper. And about half cup of the pasta water. Let it simmer for about 2 minutes. While you wait for it to simmer, you can start draining your pasta. Actually, you can eat this like this already with rice if you want, but I want it with pasta. With that being said, let's add in our pasta. Then just mix them all up. You may add in cheese to this if you want, but I prefer it like this. Very healthy and less fat. You may turn off the stove. Mm -hmm. So 
let's just put it to our plate. So here it is guys, our tuna zucchini pasta. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoy our very two easy recipes for today. And if you like it, please click on the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys. And follow me on Instagram at my so Life. Thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!